What I love about this place is all these pillars, which they just translate in a lot of vertical lines. And uh, it's even better when I'm able to put all these vertical lines in a context with a, an organic shape, such as the Eiffel Tower. Whenever I'm in a new place, I try to ask myself how I want to shoot this place, how I want to represent this place, and how I feel about this place. And for me, this place is uh, a place to photograph in black and white. I want a very, very frontal view and I want a clear division of the space of the composition. I want to have the Eiffel Tower on the right and I want to have a free and empty space on the left. This space on the left will be filled with someone that will cross the city right, right now, for instance, and I will catch this motion with a slow shutter speed to create a slight motion blur of it. What I'm going to do now is to set first the shutter speed and then the aperture. In order to use a slow shutter speed, I don't need to have a lot of lights. And unfortunately, today I do have a lot of lights. So I need to cut this light with the, a filter. I have to use a neutral density filter. I like to use a remote controller. I can just focus on what's happening in the scene. I don't have to worry about touching the camera or anything else. And now I'm just gonna wait for someone to cross the scenery, use the remote controller and capture the photo. This photo is a bit more complex to analyze than the one before because it started from a vision that I had and this is really about making a photo instead of capturing one. So the first thing I did was to create an order in the space, in the composition by using these vertical pillars. As you can see now my space is already well divided and I have a space on the right and a space on the left. but. I can still divide even more the space, especially the foreground. As you can see, the foreground is already divided in three different spaces. I have the first part, which is lit by the sunlight, the second part in the shade, and the third part lit by the sun again. So I knew that, that people would cross the, um, the space in the, in the dark, in the shade. So all I had to do was basically just wait for the light bike to cross the space, and I would have ended up by having something interesting on the right, the Eiffel Tower, and something interesting on the left, the bike. The last thing I paid attention are the silhouettes of each element. As you can see, the silhouette of the pillars and the silhouette of the lamps do not touch any other silhouette, especially they do not touch the silhouette of the Eiffel Tower. So that's it.